This is Duke University. So the human gut is lined with cells that sense nutrients. These cells, when stimulated, release hormones that regulate appetite and tell us to eat less or to stop eating. We need to understand how these cells work. We wanted to know the structure because understanding the structure would reveal their function. Here we use this novel technology known as 3D electron microscopy. So here we have a cube of cat tissue that it has been reconstructed. It is a series of 700 micrographs. In gray, we are seeing the nuclei of those cells in the epithelium and below in the lamina propria. In light green, is revealed the, the interendocrine cell at the ultrastructural level. On the left-hand side, we have these hair-like uh, structures that are called microvilli and that are exposed to the gut lumen. And on the right-hand side, we have this uh, extension of the cell body that we have called it a neuropod. We call this feature a neuropod because it has several features in common with neuronal axons, including structural proteins known as neurofilaments. These interendocrine cells, although they are not neurons per se, they have several features in common with neurons, including this relationship with enteric glia. This neuropod contains about 70% of the secretory vesicles of this interendocrine cell. Those secretory vesicles contain hormones that are involved in regulating several physiological functions, including appetite. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.